Hello there beautiful divine beings. Welcome to 2024. It's already um, feeling quite intense for me and I know um, for many and the slow start that we are you know kind of accustomed to sometimes in January as the year doesn't really take hold until later in the month in February well that's just out the window it's been it's been really big um, energy wise lots of propulsion which isn't I suppose surprising when it's a number eight year so I'm going to actually talk a bit about the numerology of the year and also your personal years because um, this is something that adds a texture and energy um, a theme and some flavors to your year and you can actually use these energies um, and these flavors to your advantage okay and actually um, and I was, as I was speaking to um, my beautiful soul family in the wisdom circle recently when I haven't done this and I haven't taken advantage of my personal year energies within the collective year um, I've, I've missed out on some things and I've maybe been blindsided as well so this is just a way to really just really take charge of that energy and um, and be more in in the flow and take up the opportunities that the energies have on offer for you so 2024 should I say is um, a number eight year so I'm going to look at the tarot at the major arcana for these years so it's a strength here I'll go into this a little bit more when I look at the personal year numbers and how that correlates to to the number eight um, strength here so although the collective is experiencing this year as a number eight so the opportunities of eight are there so the strength the courage um, that compassion that warmth is really there but you'll have your own personal year uh, flavors and energies of which to play around with within that context of the eight some of you will have the personal year the same as a collective year that I'm, I'm like that which means that you have sort of double the intensity of the collective year number which can be um, really really amazing and it can also be really really challenging it just means that there's more of an alignment there so in some ways it can be easier because you just know what you're dealing with all right, so before I start with that, let me just tell you how to work out your personal year number. So your personal year number is really simple to work out. So you just take your day and your month and you add those together until you get to a single digit, okay? But you don't um, reduce an 11, a 22 or a 33 because these are master numbers so let me give you an example now I wish I had a board here but it's quite simple um, so for example I'll use my birth date as um, an example so I'm the 11th of July so that's an 11 plus a 7 so I don't reduce the 11 to a 2 because the 11 is a master number so 11 plus 7 is 18 1 plus 8 equals 9 okay so anybody who's got um, their personal year as a nine will have the same personal year as the collective and here's why so number nine plus number eight so 2024 is a number eight two plus two plus four nine plus eight equals 17 one plus seven equals eight so it doesn't matter how your personal year and your your gets to a nine if it's a nine you're going to have the same personal year number as the collective year okay so pen and paper if you've never done that before just have a quick workout for for your personal year or pause it or go back and, and have a listen to this later so let's go through um, the the personal year numbers one to nine looking at these in reference to the major arcana of the tarot now as the full is zero I'm not going to use the full I'm going to start with number one the magician and go all the way up to number nine the hermit okay and then when it comes to the 11 22 and 33 if your personal year is 11 22 or 33 you are going to have just that higher octave of the two the four and the six personal year okay so I will explain that again as I need to when we're going through those numbers Alright, so number one, 
if you are a number one this year operating in the context of a number eight the number one card is the magician wow this is powerful so a number one year in the context of a collective number eight in 2024 so the number one is really about manifestation and number eight has a good deal of that happening in it as well so it's, it's very powerful it's very action-packed the number one is about taking steps moving forward it's not about sitting on the sidelines it's very resourceful it's using all of your strengths and your resources and it's it's taking those steps you wouldn't necessarily be just sitting back and waiting for things with the number one personal year this is your year to take charge and take ownership and take steps and with in the context of a number eight as a collective year that's a really powerful combination you've got everything going for you to do that so this is not a year to waste if you're a number one um, this year in the context of an eight so it's a go for it it's go time it's go time on a collective level anyway I just want to say um, we are in a preparation year for the powerful shift that's coming next year so that's why we're not even getting any rest with the energies it's just go 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 so even if you have a more subdued personal year number you're still going to have the backing of this number eight okay but number one has that extra oomph um, and so if you're number one this is not a year to continue contemplating it's just go in and go hard <laughs> take the risks um, you'll manifest what you what you need but you've got to be careful when you've got that powerful manifestation ability remember we're creators so you've got to manifest via your thoughts and emotions so really this is a good opportunity to get those things um, really in order for all of us but for number one you're going to have that extra power behind your manifestation abilities okay number two this is the card of the high priestess you can see there's the moon there it's the divine feminine energy now even if you are a masculine in this lifetime and you've got a personal year number two we've all got divine feminine and divine masculine in us so this is where you really are honing in your divine feminine it's not like women feminines have to be all divine feminine and masculines have to be all divine masculine we have to actually cultivate both of these energies within us that's the way we move into christ consciousness actually it's through the unification of the shiva shakti energies within us so a number two this is um this is where you go into a lot of your intuition your your dark recesses of your subconscious this is where the mystery um, of your past might come up the exploration of what's under the surface and it's really a year to trust your intuition so in the context of the number eight um, as you take action as you're striving for everything that number eight gives which is that um, that that super divine power and strength use your intuition to get what you need in this year it might be a more quiet year for you in terms of um, you know you're not really going to go out there it hasn't got the the energy of the number one the action packed but to just choose everything that you do via your intuition run it through your truth filter there's going to be a lot of crazy stuff that we're going to see in the world this year as it's you know the final year for the massive shake up and wake up i'm not saying that everything from next year is going to be fantastic it's not this is next year when we have to start rebuilding with the new energy but this year is where if you know the last of the kind of people that need to wake up or if you need to wake up on a deeper level this is the year that you'll you'll learn more truths so for number two it's really time to harness that intuition and if you know you've still got healing to do on a subconscious level this is a beautiful year to do that you're going to reap the rewards of the power behind you with the number eight so number two is is amazing for that um, there's also going to be you know that divine feminine energy that you want to uh, work on whether you're a man or a woman and there's going to be um, it's a cooperation and a year of balance as well so try and stay out of conflict try and work in how can you balance your life what do you need to balance in your life how can you cooperate and and be in unity um, both with your masculine and feminine aspects but also with others around you that you dearly love that you're intimate with 
Number three, the Empress. This is a beautiful energy, the three. This is the year of creativity, beauty, abundance, emotional expression, flow. So this is the year that you just allow things to happen as they need to happen. It's not really a year to push and force things open. Okay, so last year you might have gone into that subconscious a little more. This year you're going to flow with that. What comes up? Don't go poking and prodding too much in there. Just do the inner work the way you meant to and, and allow some good things in your life. Allow some joy to come in. Allow some lightness while you still have to do all that inner work because if there's loose ends for any of us that still are not tied up, this is the year we need to tie them up okay it's the same for every single number but the way you're going to go about it is going to be different and it's going to be infused with the flavor and the energy of each of these personal year numbers so number three is um, bringing beauty into your life uh, aesthetics you know surrounding yourself with beauty don't be don't feel guilty about being attracted to beautiful things and bringing them into your life appreciate art and beauty and cultivate that um, in a um, kind of feminine aspect of beauty in you okay it's different to the number two feminine but there's an abundance and flow in number three and you might create beautiful things because number three is very creative number four emperor so as we had number three the empress now we have the masculine counterpart of that is the emperor now the number four is very stable it's a masculine energy it's as number three just flows and allows a bit of chaos and it's okay nothing has to be too orderly number four is structured maybe a little rigid at times steadfast reliable um, very stubborn this energy can be so be careful not to put yourself into too much of a book a box but this is the year where you just progress with step by step don't try and rush ahead you'll get so much more out of the number eight if you just go step by step go back to basics build your foundations with whatever you're doing if you know you've got healing and trauma stuff to do if you know you still haven't done enough enough of your shadow work don't try and rush into it go and do it step by step work with your body work with your health um, keep everything tidy and clean around you because that's going to help the the less clutter you have in your space the less clutter you have in your mind number four on the negative can have a very busy mind okay so you need to really get everything in order so meditation quietness but stability um, don't rock the boat too much with any big changes and just contemplate and don't rush ahead but it's also a very powerful year alongside the collective number eight and you can achieve a great deal with the number four with the emperor they are achievers they are resourceful so this flavor of this energy is going to give you a bit of that you're not going to be out there partying and trying to find new contacts you're going to work with what you've got strip everything back and go okay what do i really really want to do what do i really want to achieve and then you work diligently step by step through the process of it okay so patience is um, a key with the number four energy boundaries as well that's something i'm just looking at my notes here discipline so if your boundaries are really um permeable if you know that you need to improve those and you've got a number four personal year that's this is the time for you to really work on that you need good boundaries because if you don't have good boundaries in a year where you're supposed to cultivate that you're just going to cause yourself all kinds of pain you're going to let people in your life that um, aren't really going to serve your highest evolution okay so it's a strong year the number four you're very powerful if you work that energy correctly number five this is an interesting one i love the number five in many ways um, the hierophant this is a yeah a lot of people see the number five as just a year to 
party and experience and being a bit of chaos and it has that flavor it's definitely a year to experience um, but don't forget the Hierophant is a card of ceremony ritual and higher mind so it's it's working with groups and teachers maybe with your spiritual discipline you're going to experience all kinds of new things so if this is your personal year you might have adventures you might travel a bit to experience but it's still got that very strong ritualistic ceremonial spiritual flavor it's a high mind of spirituality in a group setting but group conflict um, group dynamics could be a really big opportunity for you to learn and grow so this is not really a year to just stay alone and I don't mean that in like in a couple sense but you know go and mingle go and experience people go and meet your tribe and um, go and and experience things that are new even things that you might be afraid of this is a really good year to do that um, lots of growth will happen when you push yourself a little bit with this so there will be a lot of learning through group dynamics okay so it's not about just going out and being with people just because you need you don't want to be alone in that superficial need for friends it's a deeper need it's like you know you're going to learn through the sharing and you're going to be open to receiving new wisdom codes from others as well so you don't necessarily need to just rely on yourself like a number one or maybe a number four or even a number seven you might have this is more of a go out and explore the world go and seek number six this is the lovers if your personal year is number six this is also a year about relationships but in a different kind of sense so the lovers is a beautiful card I'm just going to show you that again If it's in a, an intimate relationship you've got the angels um, you've got the influence of God it's a year of service I say service to your loved ones giving but and receiving don't forget to receive so the lovers is learning through relationships of all kinds but particularly our intimate relationships and close friendships we're going to learn by what we can give there might be people in need when you've got this in your personal year there's people in need and some of your abundance and your power from the number eight will be coming through that because number eight there's a lot of compassion and warmth in the number eight it's a beautiful combination with the number six year okay so just don't fall into the trap of over giving and not receiving it still has to be a balance um, it's not necessarily if you're if you're single some people might say that this is a year to go find someone and that could very well be hap, ha, could happen for you or you you might um, step up the kind of giving and the and the compassion that you feel for your current relationship so it's it's a good year to put effort into your relationships not to just fly solo but to really look at your relationships which ones are in alignment which ones have you outgrown let things fall away and if you're really on the fence about letting someone in because your heart's a bit blocked this is a good year to go and do that heart opening work and let those people in who want to you know who want to love you so long as you feel that you um, can love them as well it's definitely a beautiful energy the number six number seven now, this was me last year number seven the chariot wow I mean I love the number seven I have the 11 and the seven in my birth date uh, I've always been quite drawn to the seven the seven energy the seven energy is dedication to your own cause for your own self healing and growth my goodness did I do a lot of healing last year in 2023 I did such a great deal of of healing and I went deep 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 into myself a lot of introspection so the number seven energy has that behind it now last year 2023 was a seven and a lot of people say they found it challenging because the seven forces you to devote and dedicate and be disciplined and if you're not you're going to have a rocky time of it if you didn't really want to go inwards um, and you wanted to keep being external then the seven was going to really 
slap a little bit but I loved it I loved my year seven because I was very dedicated to my own healing I mean of course that that doesn't mean it ends in a number eight it doesn't mean it ends when you have finished your number seven it just means that that year that that container of energy is a is a beautiful transformational um, opportunity for growth so also you've got a lot of willpower available to you if you choose and backed up by the number eight with the strength that's an extra bit of willpower available to you so whatever you know you need to sort out for me and I'm going to make a video about this it was about some pieces of the puzzle in my healing journey that I just knew didn't add up and I, I knew there were things missing so I had to go on a big subconscious exploration a little bit like a number two um, but there was a lot more I had to do it just on my own uh, where number two you might sort of have the support of others and last year I went and I and I sought many different modalities and many different deep um, challenging ways of healing so it's a very um, devotional year to to your spiritual path and to your healing it's a there's nothing superficial about the seven it's a very deep number very spiritual number number eight if you're like me and your personal year is the same as a collective year so this is 2024 as well we have the number of strength now this is a beautiful woman kind woman but she is so strong and courageous that she is able to battle this lion and bring the lion into her submission so we have so much strength available to us this year and if you have a number eight in your personal year well you've got that um, double whammy okay so it's also about persuasion you can be very persuasive with this energy you uh, have a lot of personal power divine power so we've all got this divine power kind of calling us to, we need to step into that I do really feel strongly that this is a year to, for us to own our divinity if you're a number eight personal year then you've got no excuse you must step into your divine power it is calling you um, so courage will be called on you might have to undertake something that is a huge undertaking so you're going to need a lot of courage a lot of strength um, I've been called to really get a lot more physical strength so I've been working on my physical strength again and uh, I must admit I let that go through COVID and the lockdown and I think a lot of people did so it's now time to really get that health in check and and if you're feeling like you want to be stronger in the body number eight is uh, is going to support that in spades okay um, it's also a warm year number eight there's a warmth if you think about the Leo you know astrologically it's the it's the Leo the, the Leo energy which is that beautiful royal warm um, loving energy so, so that is around as well it's abundance as well another kind of abundance coming in so let that all flow in but it's you know the heart number eight looks at the heart but the heart in like in a really expansive way so be warm be kind and um, open yourself to new experiences but make sure you do so obviously obviously with all your other lessons so if you if you've gone through like you, you know we've if by the time you get to number eight you've you've the last nine years it's a cycle so it's as you progress it's just like the tarot the fool in the um the fool's journey in the tarot you're going through and you're learning new bits of wisdom and you're integrating this along the way new experiences and you're having these different energies come into different years so by the time you get to number eight you are really close to the end of your cycle so this is a time to integrate everything that you've learned from one to seven okay in to the eight and bring it out to the world before you go back inward again for introspection and and actually um, go and seek more internally again for number nine and let that all settle at the end of the cycle and become really wise and that brings us then into the hermit number nine if you are a number nine person or year you're at the end of a nine-year cycle congratulations <laughs> this is a year to be very introspective this is a year you know you don't have to isolate yourself 
that you might naturally just want to. You might be very choosy about who you spend your time with. This is a year of deep introspection. The, the hermit doesn't stop seeking, the hermit doesn't stop learning, but they want to culminate all of the experiences of the one to the eight and just really sit and meditate on those. How have you grown over the last nine years? How have you um, shifted and transformed? Now, this is the time to, you know, also keep your energy nice and calm before you go back into a number one year and you start that cycle all over again. Uh, so you want to really rest. That doesn't mean you can't exercise and get yourself strong. No, of course not. But you might do so more on your with yourself alone, setting goals just for you. It's sort of similar to a number seven in that way. You're not really going to be so out and about, but rather than a number seven kind of looking outward to go and study things and dedicate themselves different modalities for their own healing. And number nine is it's time for you just to go inwards and just remember what you know. You don't know what you don't know, they say, but this is a number nine year where you're going to go, I'm going to go and reflect on what I do actually know. So it's a good year for contemplation, meditation, and that internal know knowing and gnosis. Okay, so getting that, that clear cognizant energy because you you do know so much when you've gone through one to eight, you've experienced um, an incredible amount of different um, themes and different energies and different experiences and how much have you grown in the last nine years? So you're going to cultivate that. So you're still a seeker, but you're seeking within, not without. And honestly, um, since this feels like the last year of our preparation before this huge shift comes, a number nine would be, you know, it's, it's quite fitting to be a number nine this year so that you can just cultivate everything, stay in neutrality. There's going to be a lot of madness out there. Just stay in your center and grow in your own wisdom and then come out for number one because you're going to be needed number nines next year you're going to be really really needed in 2025 when you start your next journey and you're number one and there's just action stations you're going to need your energy you're going to need to refine yourself and um and really just nurture yourself within Ah, so now if you are the master number 1122, just go back and listen to 2, 4 and 6. We just know that the master numbers are a higher vibration of these. Um, and so the lessons that you learn uh, are going to be more intense. So you've got less leeway because you're on a path of mastery. So the lessons and opportunities will test your mastery. Okay, so... If the things are challenging, they're going to be more challenging. If the thing, if the opportunities presented are um, beneficial, then they could be even more beneficial. So whatever the lessons and opportunities, take them very seriously, um, and just know <laughs> the 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 expansion or the compression contraction can be more intense with those master numbers um, when you're looking at two for eleven, four for twenty-two, and six for thirty-three. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of January uh, and I will see you very soon. Much love and many blessings.